So often we think of families in need outside of our own area. We're pretty affluent here, but there's still that need for children in the Westerville School District. Um, this fulfills that need. Our families are off of school for several weeks for the holidays. The less fortunate students, they're not getting free or reduced breakfasts and lunches. So what we strive to do is to provide a little extra for those two weeks that they're off to ensure that there is something in their pantry for our students to eat. We see the need increase every year. At times I think, when is that going to stop? But I have faith that it will be provided to us. This is our 20th year of doing the annual food drive for Westville Caring and Sharing. City employees have really gotten into it each year. We start early in the morning and we go to each department and we pick up the food. I've been here for 17 years. When I first started, we went from, you know, maybe a one truck and now we've grown to six trucks. This morning we're all getting our trucks ready. Everybody was gearing up. We we're all talking about, you know, what the day's going to be like. We do have a competition, it's by weight and how many people we have in the department. If you do win, at the end, you do get a pizza party. I mean, I hope it's us. I like pizza, like everybody else, so. <laughs> it just got into a healthy little contest there. Cleared it with the city manager, Dave Lindemore at the time, and he thought it was a good idea. So it's been a kind of a bringing together of the departments because we're all working for the same cause. There's uh, seven or eight of us, so we all meet at City Hall first. We're all getting in our different trucks. Our one-ton truck was full this year. Three pickup trucks that were full, and I'm talking you couldn't get any more in them. We got a big box truck that was full. Now the city of Westerville, by gum, here they come with their trucks full with food and toys for our kids. They will be back with monetary donations. I don't have words to explain what that means to us. Next. I go back to my office in the afternoon and I start to figure out how much food each department brought in and then I have to divide it by the number of full-time employees in that department. And I'm usually getting phone calls while I'm doing that. Who's won? And I'm like, I'm not ready yet. <laughs> I'm not finished. I get emails. Have you figured it out yet? My volunteers come in tomorrow and Saturday. The food it all has to be counted. Each family that comes in will pick up their food boxes gifts. A red wagon with a holiday meal will also go out to each of our families. At the end of it all, you know, you come through here, you see all the trucks empty. You go in here and you look at all this food in here and I know that I had a part of that. And the guys that I work with had a part of that. It just makes you feel really good. Now I might not be the richest man here, but when I go home, I have food in my cupboard. And I know that the people that have this food, they're going to go and they're going to have a Christmas dinner. It may not be much, but they're going to have a good Christmas. It just makes everybody feel happy to see what they've accomplished when they see all the food brought into one place. I usually say one can makes a difference, and it really it does. Each year we seem to gather more and more as more and more people participate and they understand the program and realize the importance. When Finally, the last truck is pulled away, and I, I usually have another glimpse back into the room and see all the food. It, it's just a good feeling to leave on and to think we've been successful for another year. That, to me, makes Christmas.